I mean, from, from my perspective, I think pre-COVID, I think a lot of device companies were a lot more guarded with how they wanted to engage outside companies to touch their equipment, both at, you know, at a repair bench level, at a field service level. I think post-COVID, it was a little bit of an eye-opener because there were so many challenges, especially in the elective space, uh, where field service technicians were furloughed, there's a lot of costs being carried, there's a lot of burden, and then we've had a, an exit of a large amount of the workforce. So I think people are really trying to look outside of the box. A lot of device manufacturers are a lot more open, um, as you'd mentioned, uh, Jennifer, uh, to be able to adopt this. And really, it's again, it's just if, it's very similar to like if everyone's familiar with the, the data center model on the IT side. You know, 15 years ago, uh, most corporate organizations, very large, they ran their own data centers, right? I mean, they had brick and mortar, they had servers, they had staffs that were managing this. And if you look just kind of over the evolution, there's been infrastructure that's built that's now reliable, that people can trust. You can go to an AWS, which now we hear a lot more, Azure, um, and you can take workloads out of your own on-prem environment and into, so conceptually it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It just took time for that trust to be built to be able to move critical workloads outside of your own four walls. Um, and it's, it's a lot similar in this space. I think the combination of one organizations coming up trying to serve this purpose and then device manufacturers seeing that they're, they're, there's a need that needs to be filled kind of has created a good marriage where there's a little bit more of a willingness to be able to explore this Yeah, option. there seems to be. Yeah. Kind of also supporting staff augmentation. Which yep. Peaks yeah. and valleys. And exactly. Demand, so you bring in third parties. Yep. Well, people in general, when we have these discussions, they, they're fixated on just kind of the rate, but they don't take in all the overhead, right? Yeah. You know, all the, the benefits that come along with it and the vacation, the fact that they're going to be out for a few weeks, whatever it may be, uh, that all gets factored into the picture. Yeah, and, and then the way we generally structure it, so again, because we're multi-tenant, we don't have one individual allocated to a customer. We'll generally have business continuity in place where there are at a minimum two techs that go through the training so they can back each other up. So again, we're just kind of being able to serve the need of our customer and give them that continuity that they need when they do engage us.